Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. Lift off. Just cleared the tower. Power and telemetry nominal. All telemetry stations are receiving. You are looking at the Falcon 9 rocket as it ascends through the atmosphere, carrying the SALCOM 1A satellite to low Earth orbit. Vehicle supersonic. Right now, the vehicle is passing through max Q, which is the point of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the airframe. Vehicle the vehicle actually maximum. throttles itself down for this uh, portion of the flight in order to, re to reduce structural stresses. Altitude 30 kilometers. For Get those of you just chill. joining us, we did have a successful liftoff from the pad at Vandenberg Air Force Base at 7:20 p.m. 7:21 p.m. just as expected. Uh, coming up at T plus two minutes and 19 seconds, kilometers. we're going to have a series of five events happening all very, very quickly together. Uh, that's going to be main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage second speed, engine start, signal. boost back burn start, and fairing deploy. It's going to happen really fast, so uh, let's watch the views we have on your screen. 100. Coming up in about 10 seconds. And there you have it. We had a successful main engine cutoff and then a good stage separation of that first stage. Uh, you can see the second stage Merlin vacuum engine lighting up right now, uh, heating up and preparing to boost that payload the rest of the way and towards its intended orbit. Stage one boost back is You should see that fairing deploy on the right hand side of your screen right now. And there it is. Good fairing deploy. Fairing separation confirmed. So right now, what you can see is uh, two separate views. On the left-hand side of your screen, you can see the, uh, that's a view from the top of the first stage of the Falcon 9, currently executing a boost back burn. Uh, this is a shot from the, uh, from the ground as we can see it here in California. And on the right-hand side of your screen, you can see the bottom of the second stage as its Merlin vacuum engine continues to push that SALCOM 1A satellite into low Earth orbit. Stage one, boost back is shut down. That second stage will continue burning its Merlin 1 uh, vacuum engine all the way until 10 minutes into flight. Ascent trajectory nominal. What you're seeing on the left-hand side of your screen is a beautiful shot from the ground in California of the exhaust gases of that first stage. Viewers in California may be able to see this from outside. You can see the grid fins on the side of the rocket have extended. Those puffs of gas coming from the rocket that you can see from the ground are uh, the reaction control system on that first stage as it maintains its attitude coming back down towards the pad.
the boost back burn is now complete from that first stage. The next thing coming up at 5 minutes and 56 seconds will be the start of the entry burn. This entry burn happens just as the first stage hits the thicker regions of the atmosphere so it can slow itself down and avoid damage to those nine Merlin engines which are entering first into the atmosphere. You can see uh, periodic bursts from those uh, cold gas thrusters on the side of the first stage. So for those of you just joining us, we are currently following the first stage as it heads back towards the LZ-4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base on the left-hand side of your screen, and on the right is the second stage of the rocket as it continues to ascend towards low Earth orbit. There it is. That's the start stage of the entry burn, burn of that Falcon 9 first stage. This burn is only about 30 seconds uh, right now. That uh, first stage is mostly empty of fuel, so it's actually pretty light doesn't need that much force to slow it down. Stage one, entry burn, shut down. And that looks like the shutdown of the entry burn. You're getting views both from the top of the Falcon 9 first stage uh, as it comes down through the air, and also from the ground, uh, visible from California. Stage one, FTS is safe. Seeing that the sun is now below the horizon, we probably won't see much more of the first stage until it lights up its engines for the final landing burn. That's going to happen at T plus stage 7 minutes and 14 seconds. So coming up uh, almost in about 5 seconds now. There it is. That's the start of the stage landing burn. Stage 1 landing burn has started. That Falcon 9 first stage should be approaching the ground just about in five seconds here. Let's watch as it attempts to land. Stage one, ready to exit the point. And it appears that the Falcon 9 first stage has just stuck the landing at LZ-4 at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, this is great news for everyone here at SpaceX. Reminder that this is the first time we've ever landed a rocket first stage back at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Uh, great news for everyone here. Uh, we're all extremely excited. Like I said, most of our team is at the launch site right now, and they must be out of their minds. So uh, <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, right now, however, that is not the end of our mission today. The primary mission is still ongoing. On the center of your screen, you can see that Merlin vacuum engine attached to the second stage still uh, pushing the SOCOM 1A satellite into low Earth orbit. We're going to continue thrusting that Merlin vacuum engine until T plus 10 minutes and 8 seconds when that second stage engine will cut off. Uh, that's an event called SECO, second engine cutoff 1. Stage 2 FTS is safe. Once SECO happens in about 45 seconds, uh, the next big event is going to be payload separation happening at T plus 12 minutes and 39 seconds.
stage two is in terminal guidance. Second stage engine cutoff coming up in 10 seconds. And there it is. You Get can see off. that that second stage engine has shut down. We're now waiting confirmation that the stage is in a good orbit, exactly where we intend it to be. Good. And we have confirmation of a good orbit. Uh, this is great news. That good means that there's one. only one more thing we have to do in order to get the SALCOM 1A satellite to its destination in orbit, and that is payload deployment. Right now, the SALCOM 1A payload is attached to the top of the second stage with a payload adapter fitting, which is holding on by way of some clamps and some small springs. Uh, when we give the signal to release the satellite at T plus 12 minutes and 39 seconds, give or take, uh, those clamps will release and the springs will give the SALCOM 1A uh, satellite a gentle push away from the top of the second stage. <laughs> 